what's up guys welcome back to another video it's me emily and today's video i'm basically going to be explaining very briefly why i left jefferson so i originally already tried to make this video like sometime last month i'm not really sure when um, but I just didn't like it and I ended up not uploading it at all because one, I was nervous about the response and two, I felt like it wasn't the best time for me to post it. But now that I've uploaded like some vlogs from Westchester, I'm getting some questions, I'm getting some confusion and I also just feel like I really want to keep you guys in the loop and that was my initial intention but I was just so like overcome with nerves that i just i didn't do it now that i'm kind of like a little bit more settled here at westchester and i'm kind of more settled with my decision to transfer i feel like it's okay for me to kind of share with you guys and not <laughs> kind of keep it as like this big secret i transferred from jefferson after the spring of 2021 so after that i had a summer of working full time and then i did a semester at community college and now i'm here so I did my first two years at Jefferson and then I basically transferred out after that. Um, you guys have seen me make plenty of videos on Jefferson. I've even given a lot, a lot, a lot of you advice on Jefferson, whether it be admissions, whether it be about dorms. And I feel like I've really connected to a lot of you based off of that school. So I am very sad. And in a way, I feel like this video is kind of helping me come to terms with the fact that that chapter of my life is now closed but I understand that's also something that you guys will have to process too like I am not the Jefferson girl anymore and like it's sad but it's also good because you know it's it's not good to find your identity in like one thing I do feel sad because I know a lot of you found me on YouTube through my Jefferson videos and a lot of you have said how much you appreciate all the videos I made on Jefferson and I am glad that that happened. I'm glad that I was able to grow from that. I'm glad that I was able to help people. But I've come to a point in my life where I'm moving on. And now this is probably like what everyone's wondering, like why did I leave? So a lot of those reasons are definitely personal. Um, but I will share that I felt like one, um, my personal values and like the values at Jefferson, especially post COVID, weren't really lining up so there were just a couple things that really bothered me about the school and the way the school was approaching certain issues that I just won't go into detail with and then along with that I was having lots of issues with my grades which I'm also not going to go into detail with but I'm trying to give you guys a general gist um even though I was doing pretty well in classes um after I switched my major I definitely was having issues with credit requirements and academic probation so i don't know if you guys have been following me i don't know if i've ever mentioned it before but i've been on academic probation twice um while i was at jefferson and the first time was for grades um because as a pre-med major i didn't do too hot and the second time it was because i failed a class and it set me back and my credits needed to classify as a junior so if I went back to Jefferson, I would have basically been classified as a sophomore, which was so disheartening. So at that point in time, um, I also wasn't getting financial aid because those are the terms of academic probation. So I was like, you know what? I am getting a degree in psychology for Pete's sake. I was kind of thinking to myself, like, why am I even at this school? Like, it's not that I didn't like the campus, not that I didn't like the area, but I was just thinking to myself, as someone who's getting a degree in psychology like why am I at this school like there's just so many other places I could go and maybe fit in more maybe actually make friends and that brings me to another reason why I decided to leave or another reason why I felt that it might be okay to part with this school is because in two years of being there granted like a whole year of that was sorry lots of dogs in this neighborhood. Part of the reason why I wasn't making friends, I guess, that were sticking, I think was because there was like a whole year online because of COVID and like my freshman year got cut short. So it was a little difficult, but I, I genuinely felt like every person I met, with the exception of probably like two 
people. I felt like every person I met, I just couldn't get beyond that acquaintance level of friendship. And I don't know if that's just me or if that's like a lot of people, but even like the people that I lived with, um, the last time I lived on campus at Jefferson, I really like, we were just roommates. Like I just didn't feel a deeper connection and we ended up going our separate ways. And um, then the people that I was supposed to live with the following semester that I was gonna move on to campus was a big no-no. Like values didn't line up, personalities were not a match at all. And I just couldn't imagine myself living at school with these people that I had no idea who they were, what their backgrounds were, what their intentions were. And so I was able to stay home for that semester because it was all online. And from there, um, I ended up transferring out. But I just thought like, not that it was a sign, but I just kind of felt like, why am I, why is it so difficult for me to make friends? Why is it so difficult for me to like fit in? Like you guys saw in my vlogs, like I was literally going to classes, going to eat, like going to the gym like I did everything alone and I'm literally about to cry right now and I have no idea why but I was definitely a lone wolf at Jefferson like I liked the school and I loved being there and I loved that that was my first choice for like a college to go to like I still feel like really connected to it and like every time I'm like every time I'm talking to people here I'm like oh yeah well at Jefferson we did this and like I keep finding myself like comparing Westchester and Jefferson but um I definitely still feel like a connection to that school because um like I had like a lot of first there like of course it's my first college like it's my first like college experience and I learned so much and I probably still know the school like the back of my hand and and I just have so many like memories that I'm so close to at that school and but apart from those memories and apart from those like cool first time experiences I don't really have a connection to the school like especially as a psychology major like you can major in psychology literally anywhere on the planet and I just felt like there was really nothing holding me there no close friends holding me there I wasn't really involved with the Christian group there either because I really just wasn't a big fan and then on top of that like I could literally go to Timbuktu and major in psychology. So why am I here? The Lord really worked it out because I was taking a very nonchalant attitude towards it, which really wasn't good. But that nonchalant attitude, I think, was really attributed to all the reasons why I left. But basically, slowly but surely, I kind of started to like more dissolve and dissipate out of Jefferson more than just being like, yep, I'm done after the semester and I'm leaving. So that's how it ended up. I started by taking a leave of absence and then during that leave I officially withdrew. I think it was sometime in the summer. I don't remember when and God worked it out for me to be here. God worked out my living situation. God worked out my classes and I just feel like how perfectly and seamlessly things worked out even though I applied super super late. I feel like it was almost a sign from the Lord that like, it's okay that things didn't go according to your plan, but I still have a plan for you. And that's where I find my hope is that this verse that I literally cling to for dear life, Romans 8, 28, all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And if I have held on to nothing these past couple of months, it has been um, that verse. And it's not just like words for me, like it's literally, um, it's hope for me in those times where I'm anxious and I'm wondering like, did I make the right decision? Did I leave Jefferson too soon? Um, did I need to make more videos on Jefferson? And I honestly, like, I still feel like so bad, like in some parts, I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's so many people that I helped through my videos that I wanted to see on campus. And there's so many people that are like, posting like I follow like a couple people from Jefferson and they're like posting stuff from there I'm like oh my gosh I remember this and I remember that and like oh my gosh they made this better and like and then I, I kind of have like that doubt in myself every now and then but I feel like every step of the way the Lord has been assuring me like Emily like you made the right decision but it wasn't just you it was all a part of my plan so it's actually kind of been difficult for me to make this video but I feel a lot better after doing it I definitely wasn't planning on it being long or anything. I just wanted to 
clear the air and put it out there for those of you who are asking questions and those of you who are gonna ask questions. I am no longer a Philadelphia University student. I am a Westchester person, person, student, still a Ram. I really enjoy being here. I really love my roommates. And I believe that the Lord is literally going to work everything out step by step from this point forward as he's been doing my entire life. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I have mourned the loss of Jefferson and I still love you guys. And if you want to keep following me on this journey through college, you can. But if you were just here for the Jefferson content, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> That was such a sad statement. I love you all so much, but God loves you more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!